Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are y'all? Good stuff, good stuff. Let's get this baby going. Let's get this going. Get this thing going. Yep. Stuff. Huh? Good morning, good morning. Yes, sir. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When God is in it. Let's get the uh... All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's see what we got going on. There it is. There it is. All right. All right. All right. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second, family. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let's call in the prayer call and get this thing going. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, y'all. Good morning, good morning. Yes, sir. Good morning, good morning. Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Hallelujah. It's not over. It's not finished. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Well, I'm trying. I'm not doing good with this uh, this piece. <laughs> we'll uh, 
we'll, uh, we'll forego it this morning. How about that? <laughs> good morning. Good morning, y'all. Come on. Come on. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right, there. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. Good morning. Good morning. Say again. Huh? Oh no, no. I got it's, it's on there. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Come on. Good morning. Good morning. Come on. Come on. <laughs> good morning. 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 Praise the Lord. Good morning. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, good morning. Good morning, y'all. How's everybody doing this morning? I pray all things are well for you. Let me let me get some of that screen there, y'all. Y'all uh, feels a little kind of, hopefully that's better. Hopefully that's better. Good morning. Good morning. So glad to be with y'all this morning. Such good things happening. Such good things happening. Uh, I believe that we're still in the, uh, we're still in the, um, in the deliverance business. <laughs> we're still in the place where uh, this is going to work together for our good. We're still in the place where uh, God has not quit his job. So it's not over. God is still in it. God has not failed. He won't fail you and uh, he won't fail those that you love. Let's stay focused. Let's stay prayerful. Let's stay uh, in the thick of the fight. All right. Uh, I have a scripture that I wanted to read to y'all this morning. I was trying to find um, the song for it, and then I was trying to IG, and the IG uh, couldn't get that to going uh, this morning. So it doesn't matter. We still here this morning, and we still got the word. We still uh, have a word from God, and we're going to make the thing happen. Are y'all ready for it this morning? Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, here's the deal this morning. Here's the deal. Get this. This is a really big deal. And here's the reason why it's a big deal, first of all. Here's the reason why it's a big deal. If you don't know it, you won't quote it. If you don't know it, you won't quote it. And if you don't quote it, you'll miss it. It's available for us. We just got to know it. We, we got to see here. Uh, I could tell you what's going on. I could give you uh, the background here, but I, I just want to I want to give it to you. It's out of uh, it's out of the book of James, and it's the fifth chapter, the last chapter in the book of James. Uh, some of my favorite stuff. Uh, I want you to hear it. I want you to hear it. Uh, it's the book of James. It's the fifth chapter. It's, it's something I want you to hear. It's something I want you to hear because you have a power that I hope that you use. I want to make sure that you utilize this power. And when this power is utilized, we're able to see uh, the power of God working through us. It's you got to see it working through you and not just for you. You got to see it working through you and not just for you. You got to believe that the gospel is the most important thing that people need to cure all of their situations, to cure all of their ills. It's the gospel. It's it's Jesus Christ. It is this is the thing that is the remedy to move away from sin and into righteousness. This is the thing out of eternal damnation and into eternal life. This is the thing to get delivered is a critical component. And you're going to, listen, if you're going to be delivered, you're going to play a part in it. If you're going to be delivered, you're going to play a part in it. Now, you don't play a part in the salvation component except for receiving. So this is not a gospel of works, but this is definitely a gospel where you have to participate. This is the this is the thing that most people miss. They just want it to just happen. And if anything happens, you're going to be a participant in the happenings. You got to participate. This gospel requires participation. This 
gospel requires faith and confession. This gospel requires that you're able to endure until change comes, that you're able to, to deal with afflictions, that you're able to function in the midst of dysfunction. This gospel requires that you don't fold and that you don't faint. This is that gospel. And in fact, James, the fifth chapter, I just want to read it to you. I know that we're on here praying, so I'm more than likely talking to believers. But if I'm not talking to believers, this is a great passage for you to see why we think what we think, why we are doing what we're doing, because this is a big deal. I hope y'all are getting this. This is what it says. This is James, the fifth chapter, verse number 12. It says, but above all things. So that means you have to go back and read what's, what was before then in James, the fifth chapter, all right? He says, but above all things, my brethren, swear not, neither by heaven, neither by the earth, neither by any other oath, but let your yea be yea and your nay be, let your nay, yea be yea, let your yeses be yes, and your nose be nose, let your, no, your nay, nay, lest ye fall into condemnation. This is what he said. He's saying, make up your mind. You either are or you are not. Make up your mind. You're going to either be on the Lord's side or you're not. Make up why? Because it's critical for you to make up your mind. Because you you can't be tossed to and fro. We have to go back to James one, and and that scripture says that a man who's tossed to and fro should not expect to receive anything from God. That's a big deal, y'all. That's a really, really, really big deal. And here's why. Because when we expect to receive from God healing, when we expect to receive from God provision, when we expect to receive from God deliverance, when we expect to receive from God salvation, we've got to be settled in the fact that we have an expectation that we're going to receive what we believe. We are going to receive what we believe. Therefore, whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive and you shall have. This thing is saying, verse 13, is there any among you afflicted? Is there any among you afflicted? Let him pray, pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he hath committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. 16, so confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man of Baileth much. We got to get that, all right? We are to pray in this hour, in this time, in this season, in what we're facing. We are to pray. Prayer is the key. Prayer is not an option. Prayer is not something that we do. Prayer is not hope on steroids. Prayer is a prerequisite for us receiving what it is that we believe that we are asking for in the time of prayer. Prayer is essential. Prayer is the component. When we started this prayer fast, this the reason why we started it is because we know that we can't just quote it. We know that we just can't just say God don't do it. We've got to continue in prayer. And we understand that <laughs> we're not to be anxious for anything. But in everything through prayer and supplication, prayer is critical. Prayer is the part. Prayer is the component that has to be in place because that's the one that matters. This is the thing that matters. What we're doing now really matters. What we're doing really matters. It matters in St. Chronicles. It matters right here in James. It matters. The prayer component, it matters in Philippians. It matters in Matthew. It matters. It's prayer is the part that matters. The spiritual component is what what people need. Too many people are eating the news, but they're not eating the word. Too many are focused in on what the uncle who is connected to the person that works in the government in Washington, D.C. that heard, overheard a conversation that sent you the text and the, we're hearing that, but it's like we're trying to forget what this says. 
This says, cry unto me and I will hear you and I will answer you. It's critical for us. You can't overcome fear if you don't have the foundation for your faith. You've got to be able to pray. You can't be cool. You can be ignorant and you'll go, I'm not going to look at it. That's just tucking your head in the dirt. You can go be oblivious and too arrogant and say, well, it's nothing's going to happen to me. You can be a conspiracy theorist and, and function on, well, this is what they're doing, but you better be connected to the word of God. And this is what God says. And no matter what happens, I'm connected to the king. I'm connected to the throne. I have an expectation to enter into the heavenly places. And I'm trusting God that these light afflictions, I'm trusting God that the troubles, I'm trusting God that I can be of good cheer because he has overcome. And to him who has overcome, he shall be with the Lord. I promise you that is the focus. People need this word. They need the gospel. We've got to spend our time sharing the gospel. What if we decided to flood all the social media platforms with the gospel of Jesus Christ? What if we decided to flood that we won't have any fear because our faith makes us pray? Not we are praying out of distress. We're praying out of the expectation that our God will deliver. We're praying because we're talking to him, having a conversation with him. We're praying because we're making our petitions known. We're praying because it eases the anxiety. We pray because the peace of God that passes all understanding comes through the relationship with God. I can't have the peace without the relationship. It comes with the relationship. That's because when I cast my care upon him, I know that he'll hear me. Are y'all hearing me this morning? If you're hearing me, we got to make a turn here. This is the turn that's needed. Turn it around. Open the windows of heaven is what Israel is saying. And I want you to hear me. This is the big deal this morning. God is in it. And that means that all things are still possible. God, and listen, with men, things are impossible. With God, all things are possible. Instead of speaking against and negatively, uh, negatively, negatively, <laughs> let's focus on positively positioning and posturing with our faith and with our heart, with the love of God, let's extend towards mankind. These, this, this is love in action, praying and interceding on behalf of man. Are y'all ready for prayer this morning? Come on. Let's pray this morning. Let, Father, we thank you this morning. We give you glory and honor that's due your name. You're worthy to be praised. You're worthy to be praised. You, Father God, we love you this morning. We thank you for waking us up this morning. We thank you for the functioning of the things that are functioning in the planet and in the earth this morning. We thank you, Lord God, that we have a mind that understands that our prayers will cause much to happen, that our prayers will cause things to change, that our prayers, God, are the deliverance mechanism that you're using using for those, Father. We're interceding on behalf of those that we love. We're interceding on behalf of the world. For you, Father, love the world that you gave your son. So help us to love the world that we're giving our time in prayer, that we're interceding on their behalf, that we're interceding, Father, that you would stay the hand of this plague, that you will remove this plague now in the name of the Lord Jesus. You have been faithful before, and we know, God, that you will be faithful again. We love you this morning. We praise your name this morning. Thank you Father God, for waking us up. Thank you for the activity of our limbs. Thank you, Lord God, for the functioning of all the body functions on the inside of our skin. Thank you, Father God, for our blood and its functioning. Thank you, Lord God, for how our hearts, we declare, God, in Jesus' mighty name, that respiratory systems, God, that you have created inside of all of the millions and billions of bodies, that they will function like they're supposed to. We come against any sickness and disease in respiratory areas. We thank you, Lord God, that the blood is flowing through their body and bringing healing and it's bringing restoration. It's healing them in every area. We thank you, Lord God, that there, there are things that are happening in the world today, but we come against all activity of the enemy right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. We bind the works of Satan. We bind the works of his hand. We bind the works of his handiwork. We come against every demon and imp. We come against every witch and warlock. We come against now every curse that has been given, every seance that is taking place. We come against God, all of the things that those things try to produce in our lives and in the lives of those that we love. We renounce it. We recall it back in the name of the Lord Jesus. We denounce everything that has been spoken over our lives and everything that we may have spoken in the negative. We come against it now in the name of the Lord Jesus. We declare, God, that you will rise up on the inside of us and others will come to know you as a result of our faith. 
just thank you, Lord God, that our courage and our boldness is a reflection of our confidence, that our courage and our boldness is a reflection of our confidence in our God. We believe and therefore we speak. We believe and therefore we proclaim. We believe and therefore we lay hands upon the sick. We believe and therefore, Father God, we intercede. We pray right now. We're praying, God, because we believe. We're praying, God, the words that you need to hear from us, and that is we believe in you. We believe in our God. We understand, Father, that with you all things are possible. We understand with you, Father God, that the impossible is disintegrated and moves, Father God, us into the possible. And we know, God, that it is possible for you to turn it around. We know that it is possible for you to heal all sickness and disease. We know that it is possible for you to cover us with the blood of Jesus. We know that it is possible, Father God, for us to speak your word and that it is impossible for you to go back on your word. So we love you this morning. We praise your name this morning. We magnify you this morning. What the enemy meant for evil, we thank you, God, that you're working it together for our good. You're working all things together for our good. We love you this morning. We give you praise this morning. Hallelujah, Lord God. You are good and you're real good. You've been kind and you've been nice and we love you for it, God. We understand that so many other things could have already happened to us. So many other things should have came upon us, God, because of our disobedience, because of our sin, because of our pride. But God, you had mercy on us. You gave us your grace, God. Your grace and your mercy reached to us, Father. Your grace and your mercy didn't fail us, God. Your grace and your mercy pulled us out of the places that we were in. Your grace and your mercy delivered us out of the sin and the payment for sin that was due us. Your grace and your mercy, God, we give you glory for it. And we thank you that goodness and mercy shall follow us. That goodness and mercy is being kind to us, God. You're being kind to us by not exposing us. Kind to us, God, by not letting us receive what we already deserve. God, so we're praying on behalf of those, Lord, those that are righteous, that need a deliverance, that need a healing, those, Father God, that need a deliverer to come through and to take them out of the places that they're in, whether it's sickness in their body, whether it's a mental issue in their mind, whether it's a physical thing, God, that seemed like it won't let go, that you would deliver them, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. You are a deliverer. You are, Father God, one who goes before us. You are, God, our friend, and you, Father, will fight our foes because, God, we deliver ourselves to you. We humble ourselves before your throne. We come, God. We are bowed before you, Lord. We are worshiping you, God. We thank you for being almighty. We thank you for being all-knowing. We thank you for being everywhere we need you to be. That where we go, you're already there, God. And where we left, you still are. We thank you, Lord God. Let not our words, God, fall to the ground, but let, Father God, what we speak on this morning. Let what we speak today, God, let it go into the atmosphere. Let it reach unto your nostrils, God. Let you stand because you hear the cry of your people and let no hurt, harm, or danger come nigh us. Thank you, Lord God. You've given us the power. You've given us dominion here in the earth over everything. And so, God, we speak to everything in the earth, God, that creepeth upon the earth, everything that walketh across the face of the earth. We declare, God, not not only dominion, but everything will come into subject and authority unto your sovereign power. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we glorify you this morning. God, we open up our mouths. May our voice and our throats become sepulchers, God, because of our cry out to you. God, we won't turn to anything else. We won't put more faith in anything else. We won't put more faith and confidence in anybody else, God. We are firmly rooted. Our confidence is in you. Our faith is in you. Our belief is in you. Heal the land, Lord God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. We're asking God. We're petitioning. We're here because we know that you're the answer. We're here because we know that you're the cure. We're here because we know that people need the word of God. They need the gospel. We're seeing it. We've seen it in scripture that whenever the gospel, whenever the word of God was removed, 
God. The people suffered. So, God, we're praying now. We're interceding on behalf of the entire world that they will reopen their minds to receive that Jesus Christ is the Lord, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that there is no other God outside of our God, that there is no other Jesus, that there is no other fight, that this is the one true God. Yahweh, Yahshua is his son's name. Jesus is what we call him, the great I am, the one who comes and heals. Jesus, the lamb, the bright and morning star. Jesus, at the name of Jesus, every name, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess. Jesus is the name that we call on. Jesus, you are the one who makes miracles available for us because you, you shed your blood. You, you came and died. You, you rose up again. And the same power that resurrected Christ from the dead, that same power resides in us. That same power to lay hands upon the sick, that same power is in us. The same power that speaks to the mountain, that same power resides in us. The same power that got Jesus up is the same power that we'll use to raise everyone else up. We believe God. We understand that the gate, Father God, is narrow. The road, Father God, is narrow. We understand, God, that it's necessary for us to stay in our posture, to stay in our position. We can't give up right now. We can't throw up our hands right now. We've got to continue praying because we're the righteous and the effectual results become as a result of our prayer. And we're praying collective together as a unit, Father God, all over the world, all over the U.S. We're praying right now here at eight o'clock with the expectation that you're going to make all things new in Jesus' mighty name. We declare, God, that anybody sick now, we asking God for a miracle that you would just heal the land, that God, we don't care what the world says. We know where the cure came from. We don't care who wants to get credit in the world. We know where the credit goes and where it belongs. We don't care, but we, Father God, are not trying to exalt ourselves and make a name for ourselves. For God, you don't have to promote yourself. You don't have to put a post out and look for likes. You don't have to put up a Facebook live and look for listeners. You don't have to ask people, Father God, to do things. You are almighty all by yourself. And so, God, because you're not looking for reputation, we are asking God because we're not looking either. We humble ourselves under you, God, and we're asking God if we've got to be underground, if we got to be silent, no matter what is going to be spoken by a president, was going to be spoken by a doctor, going to be spoken by a researcher. We're asking now, God, that you give them the wisdom necessary to create what is necessary so that the bomb in the earth can come forth and we'll give you credit, God. We'll give you praise because you're working on the mind of the researcher. You're working on the mind of the doctor. You're working on the mind of the president. You're working on the mind of all of those in Congress. And regardless of anybody trying to take your credit, we, your people, know who did it. Our God did it. Our God made it happen. Our God made it available. Our God opened up their minds to do things that they never thought of. New disease, new demon, new devil, new level. God opened up the windows of heaven. There's nothing that's surprising you. This is not new to you. And so God, give them what they need in Jesus' mighty name for those that are sick right now. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray for manufacturers to have miraculous ability to create the ventilators necessary. We're thanking you now, God, that people are coming out of the woodwork that are creating the mask and the PPE protection necessary for our medical field. We're thanking you right now, God, that the vulnerability has spread across from children to old people from 8 to 80. It has no respect of person from color to color of skin, red, black, white, or brown. So, God, we know that when all of this is happening, we need you, God. We need you to come through and showcase your strength, your mighty hand, God. Show the miracles. Let the miracles come forth now. And Father, in Jesus' name, we pray that they will give the credit where the credit deserves. We pray that they will give the glory where the glory deserves. And we pray right now, God, because we know that you're able to do it exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask, think, and or imagine. And so, God, we can think it, we can imagine it, that you can do something so miraculous that it will overwhelm the hearts of mankind and they will want you, they will come to know you, that we will break the bow, we will bend the hand 
hand of the enemy, the power of God moving in so magnificently that we know that it's you. In Jesus' name, we see, Father God, that the tests are coming through. Let the tests be res have the results quicker than expected. We thank you, Lord God. In every way, this plague will have to go because your people, we have humbled ourselves and we have prayed and we have made the request known unto you and you will hear us and you will answer us and we will continue to pray without ceasing because we will not stop God believing until we see what we prayed for. In the name of the Lord Jesus, if you agree with that prayer, if that's your prayer, in every area of your life, glory be to God, in every area of your life, you got to have a fight on the inside of you that you won't quit until you see what you want to see. The adversity won't stop you from praying. The adversity won't stop you from believing. The mistakes that you make along the way won't stop you from believing. Keep believing. Keep going forward. Keep pressing on the gas. All gas, no brakes in your faith and what you believe. Your confidence doesn't lie in what you can do. Your confidence doesn't lie in your talent or your treasure. It doesn't lie a lie in the things that you think you can do. Your confidence lies in the almighty God who sits high and he's observing what's happening below. He is the one that is able. He is the one that sends the cure and he's the one that will give the doctor and the researcher the idea necessary. He will produce in them the ability to create the panacea. It will create the cure that's necessary, but it requires for us to continue and intercede. So every Every day until we're going to pray. Every day until we're going to hit it at 8 a.m. Every day until we're going to fast for four hours after our first meal because we believe in the word of God. And he says to pray without ceasing. He says, when you fast, is this not the fast that I've called? To break the yoke, to set the captive free. He says in his word that during this time that we are to clothe and we are to feed and every opportunity we have, let's do this. I'm promising you. Don't think so much about your supply and your resources that you forget what God says. He says that whatever you do, I'm going to do for you. I'm going to make you a blessing. I'm going to bless you so that you can be a blessing to others. And then he says that he is going to make provision for you. And when you, whatever you do, whatever you sow, be not deceived that God will cause the same thing to happen for you. Come on, you ought to give God praise for that this morning. Come on, let's give him praise this morning. Come on, hallelujah. Let's give him praise this morning. God is good. God is good and his mercy endureth forever. God is good and his mercy endureth forever. I'm going to let y'all go this morning, but I'm going to give you a word from the Lord this morning. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to read some, I'm going to read something from the Lord. Psalm 27. Psalm 27. I just want to read. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came upon to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this I will be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. My confidence ain't in a cure. My confidence is in a king and that king is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the Father the Father, Yahweh, none like him, and there will be none after him. Scripture says there's none beside him. All right, beloved, I love y'all this morning. Go have an incredible day. Yeah, go and have an incredible day, uh, for the Lord is on our side. Amen? All right. Be blessed. Have a great day. Thank y'all for joining the call. It's every day until prayer and fasting at 8 a.m. Meet us on the prayer call. Go to our website if you don't have the information. Uh, join us uh, this Sunday at 9.30 and 11.15 for our broadcast. Uh, it's going to be incredible. It's going to be incredible. It's worth the drive. Listen, everything, it's worth the drive. You, you right now, you, God spoke to us. It's worth the drive. Stay with it. All right, meet you back here on the call. All right, live. Appreciate y'all. Be blessed.